just got the T-Mobile Revelry Plus. That's the worst name I think a phone's ever had. This is a pretty cool box with this little pink corner, magenta corner. Uh, so you can see the Revelry Plus. Revel. I'm not gonna be able to say this one. Uh, Revelry Plus. It has uh, band 71, uh, 66, 12, all, all the good stuff, right? So let's take a look. I mean, it's basically on all the blogs say it's basically a Moto phone, a Moto G7 Plus or Power or something. Uh, but it's in a T-Mobile specific device. So it's basically the Moto phone. Uh, I forget which one, G7 something. Uh, but I think it has a little better specs. I'm not positive on that. I'm just going by something I comment on a forum. And it's T-Mobile specific, of course. So in theory, it's going to work better. It's a neat little white package thing there. Hello. All right, so let's just see what we got here. Gets a little tab to pull it out. It's a heavy little guy. Let's see what we got here. Pretty standard stuff. Charging block. Uh, blue inside. No headphones. Just a standard. Uh, Oh, it's a USB-C to C, so it's a little different. That's what the the new Google phones like as well. Inside here, standard stuff, smart a little booklet, SIM card. It's a neat little SIM ejector tool. I'm always interested in how all the SIM ejectors look different. You think they just make the same one over and over again? So let's go ahead and. Take this guy off. They did have a case in there. I didn't pick one up because it was pretty pricey. It's like 40 bucks for the case. Boom. Uh, I don't know if I'll use the case or not. Seems to be like a little lip there for the camera. Let me see. Yeah, it's hard to tell, I guess, in there, but there's a little lip for the camera to protect it. Uh, it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, I can tell how shiny that is. There's the cool uh, magenta button for the power button. And it does have a headphone jack there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just show you. Let's see. So it definitely has a headphone jack. And the USB-C port. Uh... The volume rocker is here. SIM card tray is on top. Let's just take a look in there and see if it's just a SIM card or if it holds a micro SD cord. So, yeah, it'll hold a micro SD card and a, a SIM card. That's good. And there's that. Uh, oddly shaped semi ejector tool all right in case you're wondering here's a little size comparison there is the one plus seven pro uh, and here is the rebel breed this has a case on it I guess let me take the case off so you get a little better idea OnePlus 7 Pro, uh, Rebel Breed, Rebel Breed, Breed Plus, and here is the Pixel 3a XL. So the 3a XL is actually a little taller. I didn't realize that was going to be the case, but this one has a bigger screen, but it has the notch. So anyhow, so let's uh, turn on the T-Mobile phone. Let's hold the power button down. So 
So, uh, standard fare. Start. Uh, I'm not going to put a SIM card in first, so I'm going to skip this. Uh, I like to get my phone set up before I actually uh, connect them. I will connect it to the Wi-Fi. So the haptic feedback is nice while I'm typing, the way it vibrates when you type. I like that. Alright, so we're on the Wi-Fi. Alright, I am going to do a fresh, I'm going to do a fresh install. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Alright, now it's the fingerprint screen. Uh, the fingerprint is in the back here. I had to set up a pin first. And now we're going to add... I like that it's telling me I didn't vary my fingerprint if I try to set the same piece down. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to add a finger from each hand. You can see I'm just kind of bouncing around here. Now it's asking me if I want to review these additional Google apps. I did that. Uh, I don't want Google Sheets or Google Slides or Google News Calculator. Uh, these are some T-Mobile ones. Uh, I am going to want those. It's weird. I'm going to uncheck this in case there's not a... I just want to see if there's a calculator on here. It seems odd that there wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. I do use the T-Mobile name ID service, so I do want that. It doesn't always work, but hey. Alright, so I'm going to skip the voice assistant for now. Uh, I'm just going to skip that guy. Uh, Google Pays is automatically showing stuff. Uh, I'll set this up stuff later. Let's just see what we get out of the box. Uh, I'm fine. I don't care about that. That's fine. Standard stuff here. So that's a pretty cool wallpaper. So let's just see. Uh, so let's let you know to slide up here. We can see what apps are installed by default. Uh, that looks like all of them, right? So Facebook is pre-installed. I don't want that. I don't really use Facebook. Uh, we can uninstall it. That's good. I like that it has the option for these. Uh, the pixel forces you into that gesture navigation, which isn't necessarily my favorite thing. So it has uh, the Google Files app, FM Radio, this T-Mobile app, which I knew should be there. Uh, this Android Pay. That's interesting. It says Android Pay instead of Google Pay. Now, there is no calculator app. That's pretty interesting. Unless you're in one of these. Nope. Uh, so there's been some articles out today complaining about this T Mobile site on the Google Discover. So if you click here, uh, it takes you to like a, a, a G. A, a T-Mobile feed of some sort uh, could be junk I don't know if you can turn that off or not though uh, I'll just have to check and see later we're still installing apps there's 24 updates out of the box ready and let me just check some other stuff first let's go to settings it doesn't say a software version so let me just check the software so I'm on the May 1st security patch uh, so I guess we want to see the storage right off the bat. Storage, uh, 13 gigs out of 64 gigs used. It's interesting that the they have the Android messages, but with the color there, the you know magenta color. Uh, home settings. And you know what it doesn't have. Uh, I don't want this. Oh, so I can turn that off. It just turns it off entirely. But I guess if I turn it on, it does have this feed here. Let's see what kind of wallpapers we have. 
Oh, there's a lot of cool looking magenta stuff there. And then just the standard Google uh, wallpapers here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do these updates. So it looks like there's no gallery uh, other than Google Photos. There's no calendar uh, other than Google Calendar. Uh, I'm kind of uh, disappointed to see that there's no Moto stuff. I wonder if I check the settings. Even when you search for the Moto in the settings, it's not there. Uh, Moto had a great feature where you double shake to turn the flashlight on. I guess they don't have that there. And this all looks the same. Let me see if there's a dark mode. And there's the display. It's night light, which will turn the skin that blue light color, but I don't see a dark mode. Well, there's a device theme. There we go. There's a dark mode. So let's change this to dark mode. This gives you the black background there. Uh, I haven't set these up yet, right? Yeah, so the dark mode's going to be better, of course. Uh, let's see what the camera looks like. So that seems standard fare. There's a video camera. Uh, there's an option for a flashlight or the shaky hand option. Time lapse, YouTube live. Uh, so that's cool. Alright, so I'll mess with this some more and now I'm just kind of showing it off. Yes, that picture doesn't look great. I'm going to take another picture. Uh, we'll just do this Perrier can. And I'll add that at the end of the video so you can get an idea of what the pictures look like. Uh, this is that standard uh, Google widget that's pretty great. You can see how hot it is in Kentucky right now. Unpleasant. Uh, yeah, that's all we got for now. Let me see. I may add something, maybe not, but if not, uh, I'm going to get this all set up. Uh, I'll probably tie it to my Samsung watch. Uh, and I'll use it for a good week or so. Like I said, I already have the Note 9, which I'm recording on. The one, the Pixel, which I was a big fan of when it first came out. Uh, and it's kind of lost its luster in the past couple weeks for me. And I have the OnePlus 7 Pro, which uh, the OnePlus and the 6T have the same problem where they just randomly don't get notifications. And it's really annoying. So then that they're pretty great. So I'm kind of hoping... Uh, this guy could make a difference. It's a fingerprint magnet already, though. No double tap. It's uh, weird that's already on, that's still on that old software update. Let's see what the Dolby one does. Uh, so, some settings there. We'll test those out, I guess. Oh, well, let's get unlimited storage with Google Photos. It says original. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. You get unlimited storage there. Alright, so this is the phone. Again, I'm a big fella. Uh, 61250. So I can get my hand around here pretty easy. Even though it's a 6.2 inch screen, but it's still fairly small because the 6.2 counts the notch, right? So you can see. I'm pretty sure the Pixel is just a 6 inch screen and it has more bezel so if you didn't so this may be a better phone than the Pixel of course you're getting all the Pixel goodness with this and this is uh, obviously a little bloatware not a lot though and then uh, obviously it's only on the May first security patch so uh, hopefully they'll tighten that up uh, and I'll test it out with Android Auto and the Hoshibang alright thanks for checking me out